Welcome to the Autel How-To Guide for No Stress TPMS on your TS-401, 501, and 601. Today we're going to be covering how to diagnose a 2007 Toyota 4Runner with any of the tools. As you can see, this 4Runner does have a TPMS light on, so we're going to start out by using the TS-401. So first we have to power up the TS-401 by holding down the power button, and that will take us to the main screen. So the main screen is going to show us our vehicle selection. We also have the ability to test uh, key fobs with the RKE and RF monitor feature. So we're going to work on this Toyota. So we're going to do vehicle selection. We're going to select Toyota, 4Runner, and this one is a 2007. So we're going to select 2007 to 2012. This option gives us the ability to test four wheels or five wheels. If it gives us the ability to test five wheels, that means that the spare tire usually has a sensor in it. So I definitely recommend trying the five wheel option first. So once we select that, it's going to take us into the main screen to do the relearn procedure on these sensors. Now, each relearn procedure is different by car, by manufacturer, by year. So what Autel has done is they have actually built in a how-to guide. So if you push the question mark button, that's going to take you into the step-by-step -step guide as far as the sales sensor relearn procedure. It's also going to give us information as far as the sensor frequency of what it's supposed to be, the OEM part number, and like I said, the relearn procedure. If we go out of that and select no, that'll take us back to the main screen. So this is where we will start to scan the sensors after we have put the vehicle into the proper relearn mode. Whenever we line the scan tool up with the vehicle, we want to match the arrow on the top of the tool with the valve stem. We want to put those directly in line. Once we do that, we can press the sensor activation button on the tool, and that will send a signal out to the sensor to receive information back. When we receive information back, we're going to right away see the pressure in that tire. You can see that this one is at 36. We're also going to see the sensor ID, uh, the pressure in kilopascals if you want it set in metric, or that one can be in PSI if you want it set in standard. We're also going to know the temperature of that sensor, the frequency, and what the battery life is. This all displays on the main screen as soon as you scan that sensor. After we go around and scan all the sensors, the tool is going to tell you which sensor to go to next. So you go to the front right, then the rear right, then the rear left, and then the spare. Once you have scanned all those wheels, you're going to see that all the pressures are going to appear next to the wheel that they're at. And here you can see that the spare tire is the issue on this particular vehicle at 23 pounds. So we're going to go back into the, to the tool and we want to program those sensor IDs to this Toyota. So if you would read through the relearn procedure on the tool, you would notice that it says that the sensor IDs need to be either programmed to the PCM or driven for a certain amount of time at a certain speed. So to program those sensor IDs, we're going to select the yes button and that is going to give us all the sensor IDs on the screen. Now the TS-401 does not have the ability to plug directly into the OBD2 port on a vehicle. So you will need to utilize a professional level scan tool or another scan tool that is set up specifically for programming TPMS to the PCM. In this particular case, we're going to use the Autel MaxiCheck Pro. The MaxiCheck Pro has the ability to program the TPMS sensor IDs directly to the PCM. So here we see that we have all the sensor IDs on the left hand side of the screen and here's your MaxiCheck Pro. We're going to use the MaxiCheck Pro and go into TPMS and we're going to select the vehicle again. Asian, Toyota, and then we're going to select Special Functions. Special Functions gives us the ability to do ID registration. So this takes the sensor IDs and registers to the PCM. We can click Edit and then add all the sensor IDs to the vehicle. Once we've done that, we can click Finish. When we click Finish, it's going to take those sensor IDs and program them to the PCM, and it's going to tell you that it's complete. So that is the how-to guide on programming TPMS sensor IDs to a vehicle with the TS-401. Now, remember that not all vehicles need to be programmed directly to the PCM. Some vehicles, you will cycle the key and push on the brake pedal, and then as you move around the vehicle to 
scan the sensors, the horn will honk, and that's how it learns. Vehicles like Toyota, Nissan, Honda, Hyundai, they require that that ID be programmed to the PCM. So if you were a, a shop that does a high volume of TPMS and you want to have that function all in one, I would recommend looking at the TS-501 and the TS-601. As far as the sensor identification process goes, the TS-501 and the 601 function the same. So on those tools, we will just select TPMS, and then we need to select the vehicle that we're working on. So again, we're going to select Asian, Toyota, 4Runner, the year, 2007, and we're going to select the 5-wheel just like we had before. And same idea, we want to make sure that the sensor arrow is lined up with the tool. So we want to make sure that those two are in a direct alignment. On the TS-501 and the TS-601, the activation icon is in a different location, so make sure you check that before starting to play with the tool. And we're going to go around and select the sensors just like we did before. Now, the TS-501 and the 601 still have the, the question mark ability with the relearn procedure, so it's exactly the same as what the 401 is. Now, as I was going around scanning these vehicles, I got distracted, and you'll notice that there is a D in the bottom right of that vehicle. And the reason being is because I had already scanned that sensor out of turn, and that's just showing that you have a duplicate. So it will warn you, and you can't mess up uh, when it comes to sensor identification. So once we go through and we scan all the wheels, same idea, this tool is going to show us all the pressures on the wheels, and there it is again. The spare tire is under pressure, and that's why the TPMS light is on. Now the nice feature about the TS-501 and the 601 is that it gives us the ability to plug in directly to the OB2 port to write these sensor IDs to the PCM. No extra tools are needed. So we can go over here to relearn, and we can select that, and we're going to click on TPMS Diagnostics. It's going to tell us to connect the OB2 adapter to the OB2 port and then turn the ignition on. Once we do that, we're going to select Write IDs to Vehicle. So we select Write IDs to Vehicle. You can see that all the IDs automatically pop up since they were in the tool that we used to scan them. And you just simply click Yes. And then the ID registration is complete. One tool, easy process, being able to get that sensor ID into the PCM and light off before that customer leaves. So the TS-501 and the TS-601 operate identically when it comes to sensor activation and programming the sensor IDs to the PCM. Where it takes a little bit different turn on the TS-601 is when we look at the menu on the 601. On the menu on the 601, you'll notice that we have some more functions. We can read the IDs for the vehicle. We can read codes in the TPMS module. We can erase codes in the TPMS module, and we can see live data in the TPMS module. So the TS-601 actually gives us the ability to do some diagnostics outside of just reading sensors. We also have the ability to read and clear codes on generic OB2 codes with the TS-601. If you would go to that from the main menu, you would be able to see the live data. So from the live data screen, you can cycle through those and see different functions and features. You can also see the monitor status and see if there are any monitors that have not been ran. If we go into the diagnostic menu and we can also see that we can read and clear codes in the PCM, live data, freeze frame information, O2 sensor, monitor tests, and so on. So if we select live data, this takes us into the complete list of live data for generic OB2. From here, if you look at the bottom center of that screen, you have the ability to graph. So we can actually graph with the TS-601 in generic OB2. We also have the ability to do multiple graphs. We can actually graph two at the same time. And finally, in the bottom center, you'll also see that we can graph merge. So we can actually take those two sensors and put them on top of each other and graph merge them together. So the TS-601 really takes it to the next level when it comes to diagnostics in the TPMS module. So simple enough. The TS-401, 501, 601. No stress TPMS from Autel. Just pick the tool that's right for you and contact your local vendor.